tea lovers. I'm Sarah with Steep Tea City of Angels. Welcome to my channel. I know I've got the crazy Beyonce hair going today, so I thought, you know what, let's just go with it. Let's let's make some tea and let's have some fun. <laughs> I know I'm a little crazy right now. I just had my matcha, so I am wide awake. <laughs> okay, focus, focus, Sarah, focus. So today we're gonna be talking about our clear glass teapot. Isn't she beautiful? Our clear glass teapot is made of glass. It's not a kettle though. Some some people ask me, well, can I put it on the stove over a flame? No, steep tea currently does not have a kettle, but hopefully they will in the future. So this teapot holds five cups of tea. It looks deceiving, right? Like it, like it wouldn't hold that much. And it'll keep your tea hot for about an hour. It has a nice big infuser on the inside so your tea leaves can float around. Again, tiny holes so your tea leaves are not gonna fall into your tea. Now we're gonna be making some tea. We're gonna be making honey lemon breezy white tea, which is absolutely refreshing and delicious. Now the awesome thing about our white teas is they're such high quality, you can steep them three times. So this is our 100 gram bag of tea, which is about 40 to 45 cups of tea. But if you can steep it three times, that turns into 120 to 135 cups of tea. Now, I don't like to waste money and I like to reuse, recycle whenever I can. So if this set, if this tea can be made three times, you better believe I'm getting more bang for my buck that way. So white tea is gonna be the purest and the least processed of all the teas. So it's only about 14 milligrams of uh, caffeine per cup so you can drink it any time of day in the morning the afternoon the evening and it tastes delicious hot or cold it's really really light and smooth so I'm also going to be using our hot scoop and I'm gonna also so let me, let me tell you what I like to do because you can steep it three times, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the pot of tea and then I'm gonna pour it out into our clear glass pitcher. I'm gonna talk about this, uh, this sweet tea pitcher in another video, but just so that you know, this is how I'm going to maximize uh, my tea and make three pots. So I will make the first one. I'm going to pour, once it's done steeping, I'm gonna pour it into my teapot and then when I'm ready for, for to make another pot, same thing, and I'm gonna do that three times. If you don't wanna do it back to back to back like me, I like to just make my tea over and over in one day, get it over with, you can actually take your infuser and put it into a plastic and just put it in the fridge until you're ready to steep it again. I would definitely steep it though with one, within one or two days because you know you don't want it to, to go bad. Okay, so. Now I'm going to take one scoop, one hot scoop of our tea. So can you see that? Beautiful, right? Okay, let's pour that right into the center in the infuser. I'm gonna take my water. By the way, when you make tea, especially with your white teas and your green teas, you want to boil the water and let it sit for five minutes before you pour it into your tea. You don't want to burn the leaves. If it's a black tea, black tea can handle a higher temperature, so right after it boils, you can, you can pour it into your black tea. But because this is a white tea, we don't want to burn the leaves, let it sit for five minutes after boiling and then pour it into your pot. Okay, so. I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes. By the way, if you're not sure how long to steep your tea for, don't worry because on the back of every bag, it tells you how long and how, how much to put per cup. So our white tea, per cup you would put one and a half teaspoons, but again, we used a pot, so we used our pot scoop. And you wanna steep it between four to five minutes. And it says here, you can steep it up to three times. So again, I'm gonna let this sit, I'm gonna let it uh, steep for about five minutes, and then once it's done steeping, I'm gonna take my sweet tea pitcher, pour it all in there, and then I'll, I'll pour some ice in here and make it a nice cold iced tea. Then I'm gonna redo 
through the process again, boil some water, let it sit five minutes, pour it in. And you know what? The second and third uh, brewings taste exactly just like the first one. It does not get weaker. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, if you would like to join our team, if you would like to place an order, please contact me, leave me a comment, and I will be happy to get back to you just as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.